Today on Daily Planet, turning plastic water bottles into fabric for suits. It might seem like a stretch, but one Japanese company is already doing it. Plus, the harrowing expedition underway right now in the snow and ice near the North Pole. This is extreme science of the global warming bent. We're going to take you there. And speaking of the high Arctic, this prehistoric creature was found in that chilly part of the globe. It's the first one ever found. Question is, what is it? Bringing you the wonders of planet Earth. This is Daily Planet. Welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Zaya Tong. And I'm Jay Ingram. Day three of Green Week here on Daily Planet, but it's also Earth Day. So we have all kinds of things to fit the bill from a clever new way of harnessing energy from natural gas structures already in existence to a unique perspective of the globe from cameras not on the Earth. And we've got lots of other new science stories as well, from exploding volcanoes to using your smartphone for ultrasound tests. But first, how the Japanese are giving plastic water bottles a new lease on life. Grabbing a bottle of water on your way out the door is second nature to most of us. The average household spends more money on bottled water than on iPods or movies. 60 million of these end up in landfill every day. And it takes about 700 years to break one down. But a forward-thinking company in Japan is hoping you'll start wearing them. This suit is made by the pet bottles. Very nice. You see thousands of polyethylene terephthalate plastic bottles, otherwise known as PET. The folks at Teijin Shoji see thousands of men's suits. This is a uh, recycling plant for uh, uh, plastic bottles, so-called PET bottles. Ten percent of Japan's recycled bottles come through these doors. Every day uh, we process approximately 55 tonnage of plastic bottles, which is two million of the plastic bottles. They use old plastic bottles to make fabric for the fashion runway. No oil required. Basic scheme is uh, very popular, uh, but the uh, technique is uh, uh, very unique. Uh, for example, the how to keep the purities of our products. That's a very important area. So, uh, we succeed in that uh, very high purities. This isn't your mother's polyester they're making. Their technology for cleaning and purifying used bottles means it can be turned into high-end fabric that doesn't need dry cleaning. That's also good for the environment. Alkaline washing is one key of our technologies. Uh, by washing the alkaline, the um, PET bottles, we can dissolve the socks of the pet by alkaline. By doing so, uh, we can remove the contamination which might contain on the surface. This is an A-class bill. It's because it is very clean. Uh, the consumers already uh, took off the label and the caps. Uh, here we separate the other type of plastic like uh, vinyl or reserve or uh, colored bottles and label automatically. They're crushed, cleaned, melted, and come out like this. Each one of these bales used to be 20,000 plastic bottles. Uh, this is Frakes. This is one of, the, of our final products. Uh, this is a fluoride to uh, textile and fiber. It's 600 uh, kilograms per one bag. And this is shipped off to a second factory where it goes from flakes to fluff to fiber. This fiber is the same quality and the same durability as the virgin polyester fibers. So every day we can, we can make the 90 ton polyester staple fiber made by PET bottles. This still doesn't look anything like a suit and doesn't look much like plastic anymore either. Now these huge bales of high grade polyester will get shipped to yet another factory, this time in China. In China, our customer uh, will make produce that the yarn first with the wool blended and they make that uh, fabric and dye and uh, uh, making that the finished uh, fabrics one and they make the suits like this. 
Every day, thousands of kilos of the fiber are processed to produce yarns blended with wool. In Israel, that fabric hits the Tejan suit factory. That plastic bottle has now become a piece of fashion. School uniform, including a tie. If people want to throw away a PET bottle, it is not good for the environment. But at this moment, we are producing these good polyester fiber by a raw material of PET bottle. This is a recycling system. This is very good things for the environment. We think. Looking this good, thanks to plastic bottles, is really improving your environment in more ways than one. So you'll notice that Jay Ingram is looking particularly snazzy, jazzy today in his suit. This is quite lovely. Why don't you tell everybody and model it, Jay? Now, what is so special suits? about th you? Don't this... model it with your leg up like this. <laughs> this is one of those suits. This suit was made from plastic bottles. It takes 25 two-liter bottles, and you get this. This uh, environmentally sustainable, responsible wool polyester blend. This is the first of its kind, these suits. And he uh, looks like a million bucks, doesn't he? But guess what? It's only like $150, which is right. pretty good That's right. You can buy them volume. online. And here are some of the little flakes that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Another, you can see the bottle gets ground down into these little pieces and eventually incorporated with wool and made into a fine suit. Like the one I'm wearing. I think it's pretty fantastic. And you're paying your respects to the earth today on Earth Day in your snazzy suit. Earth. I really like it. Okay, well, this next...